Hey everybody, how you doing? It's Mr. Audecki. And Mrs. Dunn. Hi everyone. Hey, we wish we could be there with you in person, uh, but unfortunately with the circumstances we can't, so we decided that we would uh, create a video for you guys to talk about scheduling for next year, the last time that your class has to go through scheduling at Millis High School. Um, so you guys are going to be seniors next year, so we want to get you prepped for, for graduation and all that good stuff. Uh, we miss you guys. Um, we wish that, like I said, I, we wish that we were there with you. But um, since we can't be, this is going to be the next best thing. And we hope that, you know, you guys have been through this a few times now. So the scheduling process should be pretty easy for you. But there are some new classes to talk about um, and just some things around graduation. So we want to uh, get a chance to, to chat with you guys. If you can bear with us through the video um, and uh, take out the tips that you need and, and move on to scheduling, that'd be great. And always, we're, we're always here for you. So if you need anything, reach out by email and we'll get back to you with any information that we can. So um, without further ado, let's kick off uh, the scheduling for next year. Um, graduation requirements, obviously like we're on top of your graduation requirements and, and making sure that you're meeting what you need, but we also wanna make sure that you guys are taking a look at the classes that you've taken and um, getting your requirements met as well. So just make sure when you're thinking about next year's classes that you're thinking about the graduation requirements and making sure that as you come into next year, you're finishing off what you need to. So four years of English, three years of social studies, three years of science. Um, three years of class is our graduation requirement, but uh, you know, four years is 100% of our kids are taking four years of math and you should be, if you're college bound, um, you have to have four years of math, no question about it. State schools in Massachusetts require four right now, and honestly, all of our students are taking 100, uh, are taking four years of math. Um, not 100 years of math, that'd be a long time. But um, anyway, uh, two years of foreign language at a minimum. I would say the majority of our kids are taking three or four years, and then four years of physical education or health. Um, and you know, just make sure we've always talked about this, but these are our minimum graduation requirements. And obviously, and obviously, and obviously, obviously if you, uh, after high school, you want to be exceeding the minimums as far as graduation requirements go. Um, credit requirements: you need a minimum of 30 credits each year, uh, maximum of 35. Uh, so if you schedule yourself for 30 or with PE 31.25 credits, uh, you'd have a study hall for part of the year. If you have a 35 credit schedule, that's all seven of your periods with no study hall. Uh, you need 110 for graduation. As you guys are going into senior year, you need a minimum of 75 credits to become a senior. Uh, most of you will be, you know, the majority of you will be well above that as we head into senior year and you're looking at that 110 for graduation. And again, you know, if you're taking your 30 credits Every year, you know, you're going to be over 120 credits by the time you get to graduation. So course selection is the same as it's been the last couple of years. Um, last year, I know was a little bit different in that we had our um, course recommendations were actually in the selection screens that I'm going to show you in a minute. Uh, you're going to have to log into PowerSchool with your username and password. So make sure that you, you know those. If you don't, you should by now heading into senior year. If you don't, email one of us. We'll get the login info for you. Um, you're going to see when you get into power school that you can only select the classes that you were recommended for. You cannot select a different class. So when you get in, uh, take a look at your course recommendations and your recommendation is what you're going to be able to select in the system. Um, when you do log into power school, you're going to see over here on the left hand side class registration. That's what you're going to click on. And when you click on class registration, uh, you're going to see, I'm going to get out of this screen here and I'll show you. Um, you're going to see this screen here. So it's going to be for 12th grade. It's going to say, welcome to the Millis High School class registration system for 2021. Um, you're going to see some info at the top that explains a lot of what we've been talking to you about in this video, but then you're going to see your course requests. Um, for 12th grade, for physical education, you have a choice. Uh, you can take the full year outdoor pursuits class, or you could take physical education two for a quarter. If you take the quarter of physical education two, that's going to be either um, third or fourth quarter of next year. Obviously, Outdoor Pursuits is a full year class, so you've got to pick one of those for your PE requirement. For English, um, you're going to see in the system, so for this fictional student that we have here, uh, World Lit and Comp CP1 was the recommendation um, from someone who had Miss Bartley for Brit Lit or AP Lang this year, so you'll see that there, and that's going to be the choice that you're going to be able to make is whatever you're recommended for. You see these prerequisites have not been made, met. It means that you didn't get recommended for that class. So that's what you're gonna pick. So for next year, it's gonna be World Lit, Comp, 
either honors CP1, CP2, or AP English Lit, depending on your recommendation. Um, for math, you're going to see a few different things. You've got Algebra and Trig, Algebra 2, uh, AP Calculus, Calc Honors, Intro to Calc and Statistics, uh, Pre-Calc, Pre-Calc Honors, Essential Topics, and Math. So those are your choices for next year. Um, for Science, uh, you may be recommended for, for one or, or a couple different science classes, depending on what your teacher puts you in for. Um, but there's an ad in phys, you've got AP Bio, Chem 2. Um, some of you that might be seniors that haven't taken chemistry might be looking toward chemistry, current topics in science, engineering your world, which is open to you guys as seniors through a recommendation for next year, um, and environmental science. There's also, and it, it should be in here, and I, I apologize that it's not right now, but there's a molecular biology class that, um, there it is. Uh, sorry, that was on the second page. So you're gonna, Mrs. Dunn will talk about that in a little bit. That's a new class for next year that you might be recommended for as well. Uh, we go to social studies. Um, you're gonna see again, elective choices for next year. If you wanna continue with your social studies, it could be um, intro to politics and Hitler's Germany, which go together. You have law, philosophy, contemporary world, where you might have been recommended for an AP. Um, AP Psych could potentially be one of the options for next year. Um, Mrs. Don will talk about that in a little bit too. And then Spanish, um, you could be recommended for AP Spanish for next year. Uh, you could be uh, Spanish 2, Spanish 3, Spanish 4, um, or Spanish 5, which is at the CP1 level. Some of you may get a, recommend, rec a recommendation for contemporary um, Hispanic culture. Um, that would be on there as well. So you'll see that in the system um, when you go and take a look. Um, and then electives. So uh, as you go into senior year, some of you guys may be doing VHS and tech. You can select those in here. Some of you may be looking through the rest of the elective catalog, picking another class for next year, you know, be it in um, you know, band, chorus, broadcast journalism, digital, uh, digital photography, digital media, um, another one of the history electives, maybe you want to double up, maybe you want to double up in science, uh, creative writing, digital photography, engineering design, um, like I mentioned, computer science, uh, fundamentals of studio art, um, you know, sports psychology and, and stress management, those go together, uh, video game design, web ventures, there's a variety of different things that are in there that you could choose from. Um, and then we, we'd like you to pick an alternate if you can, just in case one of your um, elective classes for some reason uh, has a conflict in your schedule. If you can at least pick an elective in there, it gives us an idea of what um, we should be scheduling for so we don't just pick a class for you. Um, as always in the past, make sure you take a look at this little red exclamation point. If at any point, uh, if you're seeing this red exclamation point or your classes aren't taking in the system, it's because something's not right. Either you selected too many credits, you didn't select enough credits, or you didn't select something in the um, categories above that are required. So once you get that green check mark down here, you know that you're good to go um, and that your classes are in the system. And if you have questions as you're going through this, just reach out to um, Mrs. Dunn or myself and we're happy to answer any of those questions that you have. So I'll pop back into the PowerPoint here and pass it over to Mrs. Dunn to go over the rest of the process. All right. So. All right, so in terms of when we want you guys to have this done by, um, it is now available to you. So you are welcome to sign into PowerSchool today um, and you'll be able to see your the courses that you were recommended for. Um, and we would like you to have everything done and selected by April 8th, which is next Wednesday. Um, so hopefully that gives you the time that you need to see your recommendations. Um, if you have any questions about your recommendations, um, please reach out to your teachers about those. Um, hopefully, I know many of your teachers were able to have conversations with you um, in school about what they were gonna recommend you for, but some of them maybe didn't get the chance. So um, if you're unclear about any, any of your recommendations, your teachers would be happy to hear from you. You can just shoot them an email um, and ask them about it. Um, if you have any questions about um, graduation requirements or if you're unsure of what kinds of classes you should be choosing, um, you're welcome to reach out to me or Mr. Adiki. We are happy to help with those types of questions. Um, but yeah, hopefully April 8th um, is next Wednesday. So hopefully that gives you enough time to um, talk with your teachers, talk with us, and go ahead and make those selections in PowerSchool. Um, 
as always, you guys have four different course levels um, that you may see your teachers recommended you for for next year. So um, AP classes, of course, are extremely rigorous, very challenging classes that require a lot of independence and a lot of work. Um, honors classes also are very accelerated and require a lot of independence and a ton of work. Um, CP1 classes are still accelerated and independent where CP2 classes are meeting grade level expectations with a little bit more um, accommodations. They're not quite as accelerated. Um, so you may see your teachers have recommended you um, for different classes or for different levels. Each one of your classes, you'll have a level recommendation. Um, and at the end of the day, um, for let's say if you have a, an AP class recommended for you for um, a subject, that of course means that your teacher um, believes that you have what it takes to be successful in that class, but it's also a decision on your part to think about you know, balancing your schedule for senior year and making sure um, that you are pushing yourself, but also that you're setting yourself up for success. So um, if you need any help making those decisions, your teachers can help you have those conversations, but we're also happy to help. Um, with conversations about levels. And we do have some new courses for next year so that you guys will see. So um, these are all available to you because um, you guys will be big bad seniors next year. Um, so AP Psych is a full year class of course. It's an AP class um, and that counts for social studies credit. Um, so um, that's new next year. We think people will be pretty excited about it and it will run as long as enough kids sign up for it. Um, and then the power of plant-based nutrition is a new elective class um, that's only a quarter of the year and that would actually be fourth quarter after you finished Phys Ed 2. So if you do Phys Ed 2, um, you will have room in your schedule for a fourth quarter nutrition class taught by Mr. Kendrick. Um, and then a new science class for next year is molecular biology and biotechnology. Um, and that's offered at the honors and the CP1 level. Um, so we're excited to have another science option for you. Um, so again, email your teachers if you have any questions about um, their recommendations. Um, definitely talk with your parents as well. We want them to approve your course selections. So we would encourage you to not only talk with them, but maybe just go through this whole process with them. Um, you can also review the program of studies. So we'll be sending out um, the program of studies along with these video or with this video. Um, and in the program of studies, you can see the information about all the different classes that we offer at the high school. Um, so, um, again, there's info in there about that new biotechnology or molecular biology course. Um, you can read about AP psychology or any of the courses that we offer. So if you need more info, feel free to look through the program of studies and just know that there are a few classes in the program of studies that you might see, um, that you don't see in power school. And if that, if you see that, that, that means that. Uh, we're not offering those courses at the high school next year. So the ones that are options for next year are going to be listed in power school. Um, and then also just make sure as you're um, going through and choosing your electives, there are some electives that are just half year courses. So they're for 2.5 credits. Um, and all of the half year courses electives have a corresponding second half of the year class. So for example, if you took Mr. Caulfield's speech class, the first half of the year, for 2.5 credits, you would also want to select contemporary crime fiction, which is the class that goes with speech um, for the second half of the year. Um, or if you choose Mr. Carter's intro to creative writing, you will want to choose creative writing workshop um, for the second half of the year. And the way that you can tell if it's a half year class is if it's just 2.5 credits. So, so just keep that in mind as you're choosing your electives um, in power school. All right, um, and some of you may be interested in doing work studies next year. Uh, we do not schedule work studies until the fall. So for now, choose your schedule, um, choose all your classes as if there were no work study, and then when it comes time in the fall, if you still are thinking that you wanna do a work study, we'll go ahead and put that work study into your schedule in the fall. Um, but for now, you don't need to worry about that. Um, and then, at this point, you also should have gotten emails from Mrs. Jones 
about our online course options. So we have virtual high school VHS or tech classes available online. Um, and Ms. Jones sent you all emails about that. So you can look over the information for the different types of courses. You can see all the options that are available to you. Um, and if you decide that you want to take an online class, um, you need to fill out the form and get that back to Ms. Jones by tomorrow. So hopefully you've had some time. I think she sent that back. She sent that out um, a few days ago or last week. So hopefully you've had time to look it over, but if you haven't, make sure to get in there today um, and read about the different classes and choose one of those. And you will be able to, I think Mr. Adeke pointed it out, but if you do decide to take a virtual high school or a tech class, you can select that as an option um, in your electives um, when you are choosing your courses in um, power school, you just choose VHS online course or tech online course as your elective option. Um, so yeah, if you guys have any questions, please don't hesitate to reach out to me or Mr. Adiki. We would love to hear from you. Um, and we are so happy to help. And we're also happy to he hear from your parents if they have any questions. Um, if you see a recommendation in power school and you're confused about that recommendation, you talk with your teacher, um, and you decide that you would really like to take a higher level than what they are recommending you for, um, you can request an override. And that just needs to um, be an email from a parent to Ms. me or Mr. Adiki, um, and we will send them the form to um, get that override request started. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much everything. Hopefully you guys have done this you know, several times before, so hopefully it'll be pretty straightforward. Um, but please don't hesitate to reach out to us if you have any questions. We would love to hear from you and we're happy to help. Um, we miss seeing you and we hope that we'll get to see you again soon in school. Yeah, thanks everybody. Um, stay well, stay healthy. And uh, like Mrs. Dunn said, we hope we will see you back inside Millis High School soon. If you have any questions, reach out. Talk to you soon. Take care.